Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly videos for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's get into your reading Capricorn. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys for this month of July 2021. Now your first card here is the Page of Pentacles, the Eight of Swords, the Six of Pentacles, the Judgment card, the Death card, wow, and whoa, and the Ten of Pentacles. Okay. So off the bat, Capricorn, what I'm hearing is don't feel bad, all right? For this month of July, it's going to be very important for you not to feel bad for people or those whom you have helped in the past. Don't feel bad when their true colors comes out, okay? Now, for some of you guys, it could be almost like I'm sensing a feeling of being let down. I'm sensing a feeling of seeing them through different eyes. This could be uh, getting or finding out that a person that you tried to help or a person that you tried to put on um, has taken the route of being ungrateful. So there could be a situation that arises in the month of July where they're either spewing things on your name, they are making shit up, or they're trying to make it seem as if they were the, they were the ones that helped you at some point when in reality it, it was you the one that, you know, like I said, helped them out through a difficult or trialing time. Um, I'm hearing a lot of ungratefulness and a lot of people that you have gone out of your way to help or to guide or even help them money-wise. And what they're telling you here is, when this information comes out, when you see them for their true colors, don't be upset at yourself, Capricorn, for trusting them or for doing for them. Like it has nothing to do and it is absolutely nothing of a, of a reflection of their character. It has nothing to do with you. And when this situation arises, it's going to be very important for you to have a very clear conscious, okay? So when I say that there is no need for remorse, there is no need to be mad or upset at yourself because you did them a favor, how can they be this way? Like, l let it go, let it go. And I know this is very difficult, right, for Capricorns to let something go, especially when we're talking about betrayal in any shape, way, or form, especially when we're talking about your character or your integrity, because I feel that that's going to be something you're going to be dealing with in this month of July. And it's coming from someone that you thought was a friend. So again, don't allow that to make you feel or to question yourself, because it is more to do with their character and the type of person they are it has nothing to do with you. And see it as a positive because this is a blessing in disguise for you. Why? Because it's balancing the scales. Because it's bringing to you some type of vindication. Because it's bringing to you some type of karmic release. The judgment and the death card. Making a decision that is going to completely transform the way you viewed this person. But also, a complete transformation when we're talking about karmic cycles here. The Six of Pentacles, the Judgment, and the Death card. And what is this karmic cycle that is coming to an end? What is it bringing to you? My lovely Capricorn, it's bringing to you the Ten of Pentacles. It's bringing to you blessings. It's bringing to you abundance. It's almost like they're doing you the favor by going against your going against your name because you have a pure heart and because you've gone above and beyond for this person that they don't realize that by them doing that what they're doing is they're adding to your greatness capricorn the judgment here is this is going to come to light and you're going to know about it and you're perception of this person is going to be completely changed but it's also bringing a transformation a conclusion to a karmic cycle 
the scales are balancing and they are now in your favor. Where there has been stuckness, stagnation, when we're talking about finances, when we're talking about career, when we're talking about love as well, there is a cosmic release of karma that was in your debt that is no longer being carried out because it's transformed. And it is bringing to you the decision, the knowing, the understanding that there is transformation that's coming and embracing this transformation because it's going to stabilize your karmic cycle, a new beginning, new opportunities. There are no boundaries here, Capricorn, for you. There is no cap. There is no limitation. Now, if you guys understand this on a deeper level, because I'm hearing for a lot of you guys, this is major karmic release. You know, we're human. Part of our growth is to fuck up. And yes, maybe we fucked up in the past, but this person is doing you the favor because they are releasing that cycle. But first they are balancing the scales, the scales on your favor for the judgment, the transformation that's happening that is going to bring to you solid results in regards to career, in regards to finances, and in regards to your home life. There's major stability coming through for you, Capricorns. And like I said, if, like I said, if we're talking about on a grander scale, you know, the Mayans calendar ended in 2020, right? which is why we had all that craziness, everything that was going on astrologically as well, as well as universally, everything was just all over the place, all over the world. Technically, 2021 is the beginning of a new calendar, is the beginning of something new. Now is the time, Capricorn, now is the time to try new things trying new endeavors because you may hit the jackpot. So embrace this energy Capricorn. All right, my lovelies. I hope that this gives you insight and we'll see each other soon. Till then. Bye.